that and then I get a bunch of these little pieces for like starting the fire. Right. And they're like dry because it's overhanging over them. Yeah, you're right. The rain is falling up there and this kind of creates a little bit of a, a overhang to keep it dry. So I looked at that and I saw a tiny piece of How does that, that smell? Yeah, oh, that smells so strong. Whoa, that is That's powerful. That's why I got it from right there. What is up adventure agents? Agent Tex here. We are out in the woods right now, in the forest, and we are at a really neat place. I'm gonna show you this. This is a fort we built right here. An overhang fort, a temporary structure. Wow, we wait to build our log cabin right here. There's a model of our log cabin that Agent Axe built right um, there. And there's a lot more where that came from. That's a lot. Okay, so we're trying a new fire starter today. Pyro putty. Pyro putty? Let's give it a try. Look, it looks like zombie slime. I see. See that? I see. It's very zombie-ish. It's gonna be a little bit hard. So, right there, that's for you. An axle. Yes. There we go. Oh. Lit for just a second. There it is. Okay, alright, beat it, Axel. Put that fat wood on there. Beat it? Yep. A fire. That me? Fires are hungry. You have to feed them. There we go. Mmm. Okay. River's got some over there. Okay, so I'm gonna help River with hers because this is this is not the kind of fire starter she's used to. That's the hardest, River. There it is. All right. Okay, it got lit. Yeah. Ooh, ah! Start feeding it. Burn hot. Start feeding it. The fire's hungry. Start feeding it. Carefully place pieces of fat wood over it. The fire is kind of like a. It's like a little baby, right? Be very gentle, careful, and delicate, and feed it. Like the baby, it'll grow if you do it right. It'll grow really fast though. Uh -huh. Not... Oh, oh, but if you just throw it on there like that, see how you're just putting that little piece on there, put the flame out. If you do it right, the flame will grow to something incredible. Like a baby's incredible. Yeah. So everyone, today we have some fun stuff to do, okay? We're gonna go down to and the beaver And demolish the beaver dam. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might be saying, Agent Tex, why are you going to do that? Well, I'll explain in just a little bit, okay? But also... Oh, Daddy Longwood! I'm going to eat the Daddy Longwood. I don't eat the Daddy Longwood. I want to eat it! No. What is Agent Tracker doing? She is on the case. She's sniffing something. really starting to rain here agents so this right here you can see is a game trail before we go mess with the beaver dam 
I'm going to check this camera footage. I placed a game cam here to see if we could catch any critters. Because the game trail leads right to where we're going to build our log cabin. So, I'm excited. I've left it there for a few days. I wonder what sort of creatures run by on that game trail. Let's check it out and find out before we head to destroy the beaver's dam. The fires are looking good, you two. Yep, I got a bunch of little fatwood sticks. Hey. What do you say? Oh, there's Agent Tracker. There she is. What? What do you say? We have marshmallows? No, no marshmallows. But hey, what do you say we check the game? Oh yeah, you and Mommy ate the rest of them last night. We did, we did. Yeah. You ate like ten marshmallows. No, like four. So, we're gonna check the game cam, okay? All right, who wants to see what's on the game cam? Oh, you hear the sound of that rain on the tarp? I love that sound. It's so neat. So, here we go. So what's this here? That's baby. That's a tracker. She's sniffing for something. Look at that. Maybe a beaver. Yeah, there's Maybe it's a rabbit. <laughs> there's a tracker again. Oh, a beaver. A beaver. There's the beaver. Did they miss this clip? Oh, no, no, no. I moved the camera, but after all, oh, Agent Tracker is shaking everywhere. Hey, Agent Tracker! Agent Tracker, this is an expensive Adventure Agents official computer. This is so exciting, Agents. This is the beaver that is down by our pond. If you, some of you remember in a past episode that helped us build a dam. We built a dam, or we fixed the dam up so it filled up with water, and the beaver came back and helped us to build the dam. All right, let's watch this video, okay? Oh, it just went by, but is it gonna come back? Let's see what it does. It just swam by briefly. Nope, that's it. Ah. Oh, there it is again. What's it doing? Look at that, what a beautiful creature. It Look at its tail, you see its tail? <gasps> and those eyes, you see how they're glowing? Okay, let's see, oh there it is again. I think it's coming back now. What's it doing? Let's see. It has its kings. Oh, that's it. Oh, there it is again. What in the world? It, it just keeps going back and forth. I wonder what it's doing. Maybe it's patrolling. Or maybe there's more than one beaver. Oh, there it is right there. Daddy! There it is again. Daddy. It just went underwater. Oh, it just dove underwater really quickly. Will it come back up somewhere? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. That's a close-up right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we keep only getting these brief looks at the beaver. Okay, that's it. But, hey, guess what? Uh, that whole time we had another camera filming. So we can go check out the other camera now and see if there's more beaver footage on the other camera. But we are also going to destroy What's the beaver tracker doing? I know that sounds weird, but we'll show you what we're talking about in just a minute, okay? Daddy, what's your tracker doing? I know, what are you doing, huh? What are you doing with your tracker? All right, let's head down to the beaver it's dam, Daddy, okay? Daddy, we're Dougie. So, our dam is flowing over here, you can see. It's soaking this whole area right here. So, Agents, at the time I made this spillway here, the water was really low, but now it's raining and it's running really fast. The beaver dammed it up to help us make it higher. But, we don't need it to be dammed up anymore because it's overflowing on all sides. So we really need to take this down. So, and we're gonna need to I'm sorry, to Beaver, like but we're gonna have to dam it up. But look, the Beaver did more work. Look at that. Today? Well, I don't know when. But we saw the Beaver, and this camera was watching. So we're gonna check this camera after we remove the Beaver Dam and see if we have any new footage here, okay? Let's go ahead and just take it out now. Open it up, turn it off, get the special memory card here. Put it in my pocket. 
I need you to remove all of that. Remove the beaver dam. Now, hurry, hurry. Wow, yeah, the beaver definitely did some more work here. Oh. Move it out of the way. Oh. It's all gonna come. Man, it did a lot of work. Sorry, beaver. Oh. But we, there we go. We gotta clear this out. Look at how fast, look at the freak. Wow, it's going so fast now. In a little bit, when we come back, that should not be flowing anymore. This right here, if it works, if what we did over there works. I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's go check on that beaver cam footage. Let's go. All right. What well, we see another cougar? The worst yeah, let's check it out. Oh, what if we do see another cougar? That would be neat. Or so a different one. You may remember that we saw a real cougar. That was pretty cool, also pretty scary. Okay, here we go. Let's open this up. What do you got? Let me see. A spider bit me. It's like super, 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 super stingy, like 10 stingy. times worse than now. I smell marshmallow. All right, Agent Swell, we're gonna check this out. Looks like Agent Axe got some kind of spider bite. There's two little bite marks on his hand, on his finger. This finger? Right there. Uh -oh. Oh, I see two little tiny marks there. Yeah, over there I was messing with something. It might have just been nettle. I'm gonna rub sword turn on it and see how it feels in okay, just yeah. a bit. Yeah, I don't know if it's a spider bite or not. I hope we've never gotten a spider bite. Gotten stung by hornets and things like that, but we've never gotten a spider bite. How does it feel? I think it's just nettle. It's just nettle? Okay, yeah. Good. Well, pay attention to it, okay? Pay attention. Mm. Hopefully it's not a spider bite. All right, okay, so Let's see here. Pressing play now. Oh, I think that Agent Tracker. Oh, she's not gonna camera. <laughs> okay, do you see that? Okay. Whoa! It just ran across the water. That's so neat. Okay, what else we got here? Moving, just slow leaves moving. Nothing there. There's my foot. Crossing. Oh, there's a dragonfly. Mm -hmm. That's pretty neat. Don't see anything else. That's all. Uh, I don't know. Well, that's that. There's another dragonfly. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, there is. Who's that? Somebody's shoe. Oh, I think that is Agent Strongman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think those were his shoes. He's checking out the pond, I guess. Oh, there's me and Agent Axe. This now. Uh, oh, that's us getting some filming shots <laughs> just now. <laughs> There's Agent Axe again. Agent Axe again. Agent Tracker. Come on, let's see. Oh, oh! <gasps> Look at that! Do you? Okay, here we go, Agents. Here we go. Let's make this full screen here. The There's the beaver. Building the dam! Do you see? It's, That's a big stick! That's a big stick! That is so cool! I am blown away right now! I think that's why the beaver was going in circles to Look get at sticks! Look it its teeth! I think the beaver was going in circles to get sticks! I think so! Oh my goodness! Look at that beaver! Agents, this is incredible! It's because of that, I think! I don't know! Look at it go! It's not even using its hands, it's just using its teeth. What an amazing creature! Oh, my goodness, this is so neat. It just got mud. It just got mud. Agents, this beaver is so cool! So, oh, wait, there it is again. Oh no, no that was the same one. Okay, alright, let's see, did it do it some more? Let's check it out. Okay, here's another one. It put that. Oh, it put that, we missed it! Oh, that's, but you're right, Agent Hummingbird is right. That's why the beaver was going back and forth. We just couldn't see it. It was bringing things. It brought something big over there. Let's see. Oh, there it is on the bank over there. It's Look at it crawling the up the bank. What an amazing creature. We have a beaver right here, Agents. There's another one. There's two beavers. No, the little one is falling. Is it a small it's a one? See? Uh, no, it's not that much smaller. That's a big beaver. Not two years old. 
No, that's more than two years old for sure. There's two beavers! <laughs> wait, wait, there's another one! Three! Oh no, wait, wait. One, two. Okay, so there's definitely two. You see that? This is the same video. One, two. Is there three? No, there's just two. Mm -hmm. Well, at least in that shot, there's only two. Okay, let's see here. What's gonna come down here? Uh, I think it just saw the water. Do, do, do. Oh, there is, there's me. <laughs> I was checking out the pond. There's me again. Do, 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 do. There's Agent Trinity. I messed with the camera here. Uh, oh, oh, Agent Tracker. No, 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 no. Get back, get back. A beaver, a beaver, a beaver. Agent Tracker's trying to knock my camera over. A beaver. Agent Tracker, stop it. Stop beaver. It. Get back, get back. Beaver. Get back. Daddy, over beaver. There. Daddy. Beaver, beaver. Okay, I know. Agent Tracker's trying to knock my camera over. <laughs> she doesn't know any better. She's just a... Yeah. Just a... It's feeling better. Okay. Oh, your hand's feeling better? Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. All right. <gasps> Look at that tail! Oh my goodness, and do you see the base of the tail? How much muscle's there? Mm. Where's it going? Maybe it's going to get more sticks. Oh, <gasps> Maybe. Uh. Alright, let's fast forward. It's doing something down there. Maybe that's where it got some of the sticks from. Oh, there it is again. Mm. It's going, oh, going over there. I am so excited. We have beavers for neighbors. Beavers for neighbors. Nothing here. Just rain. Just rain, rain, rain. I wonder it's if these beavers the are come out during the day at all. It's all the rain. It's just all uh, the rain. Oh, there's Agent uh, Tracker. Wait, go back on what? It looks like she just teleported down. I know that was she. No, it, what? it just barely caught her. Look. It just barely caught her. Oh. Oh, that's you and me talking. Oh, there's Agent Hummingbird. And let's see here. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is when I move the camera from there to there. So let's see if we can see what the camera caught before this. Mm -hmm. Agent Tracker and me. Nothing. And nothing. Oh, yeah. There's a beaver! There it is! I'm What's swimming it doing? in the circles. Mm -hmm. It's swimming. Well, that's when it was swimming in circles, yeah. There it goes. There it is again. I just love this so much. This is so incredible, hey, Agents. Yeah. Oh, oh, there, look, can you mm -hmm. see it over there? Mm -hmm. Up there at the top. <sighs> Swimming across. Maybe it's a mom and a dad beaver, and maybe, oh, that was it, that's all the clips. Maybe it's a mommy and a daddy beaver, Agents, and they're trying to start a family here. What do you think? They can't be a mommy and daddy unless they not, have not baby yet. beavers. Unless they have baby beavers. But maybe they're making their home. I'm so honored that the beavers would choose us. Now, I know you're thinking, Agent Tex, you just destroyed the beavers' dam. Well, agents, we just lowered it a bit. And the beavers, what if they just build it right back up? If they build it right back up, agents, we're not going to knock it down again. I'm just concerned that it's going to wash out that side of the dam if we don't lower it down a bit. But, I don't know, agents, maybe maybe they're just going to build it right back up again. If they build it right back up again, we won't knock it down again. We'll just leave it there. We'll see, agents. I don't know. This is so cool. Oh, my goodness. You have a beaver for a neighbor. What do you think of that? A beaver. A beaver. So, agents, we need you all to be on the beaver mission, on the beaver case right now. And maybe you can do some research on beavers and what they do and, 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 and find out maybe if our beavers here are trying to make some kind of a, a family den or something like that. They're trying to raise the water up so they can make their den. We raise the water up considerably and they raise it about six more inches or something like that. So I don't know, maybe they're gonna build their dam back up. We'll see. All I know is that I am so excited that we have beavers for neighbors. Did you know that I got the night cam working? What night cam? The night oh cam. yeah, with the laser, so laser maybe, thing. Oh look. We have a clue, agents. We know what time of night these beavers come out because our camera records the time. Maybe we can come here at the time of the night that the beavers usually come and see if we can catch them on camera no, live. No, come a little bit earlier. Live while we're there watching like them. Like five minutes earlier. Yeah, we'll come like five or ten minutes earlier. Yeah. We'll do a beaver stakeout. What do you think? You gonna do that with me? Wait, this is what Brooks would say. Yeah, but... Horror! 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 <laughs> 
horror. We'll do a beaver stakeout. Horror, horror. All right, well, I'm excited about doing beaver stakeout. So we'll see. Maybe on a future episode, we'll do a live beaver stakeout. Okay, well, I am thirsty. Who wants some tea? Me. You want some tea? Yeah. Me. Okay, all right, let's go get some tea. Come on. Ah, Agent X, look at this. Check that out. Remember earlier, the water was flowing right over here. The water was oh, flowing buddy. over here. But it, is it flowing anymore? No. Nope. Yeah, how far would you say that went down, the water went down? Six inches. About four inches, I'd say. Okay, Agent, so it worked. All of this was being eroded down, all that and all that. This grass was dying. I want that grass to take root so that this can be a firm barricade. And when the beavers built the dam right here, when they built it up, it started eroding all of that over there. But we don't want that. Well, we'll see if it works. We'll see if the beavers decide to build this back up right here. And, uh, <laughs> and I guess if they do, we're just gonna give up because they'll just keep going. Those beavers, they like to stay at it. <laughs> We'll see, what do you think? I wonder if they're gonna use all the sticks that we moved over there and just bring them back to right here. <laughs> they might, we'll see. But I put the card back in the game cam so we can see if the beavers come back like tonight or tomorrow night and start building back up in. But just by knocking that down, we got it to go down about uh, four, maybe five inches. Okay, so now we're gonna go get some peppermint. I filled up our deal of water here with some cleaner water. The water the Agent Axe had wasn't quite working very well because it didn't have something to... Look at that. They ate all of the fresh. bark This is fresh. That is definitely fresh. Yeah, they did that very recently. Uh -huh. Like within the last day. Yeah. Let's leave it right there. Here. Put it right here and see what they do. We'll be able to see it on camera. See if they bring these sticks back up to there. We'll see, okay? Well, all right. Let's go get some mint now. Come on. I know we're a fresh patch of spearmint is. Oh, I love spearmint tea. What are you looking for, Agent Trekker? She smells something. Peppermint? So much! I was headed to the spearmint. Agent Axe says there's some peppermint over here. We haven't had peppermint tea in so long. We've been Let's having see. spearmint. Oh, wow! The peppermint. You're right! Yeah, let's do peppermint tea. Oh, you see that, agents? This is wild peppermint growing right here. And it tastes very... This is awesome. Oh, that smells Eat so it. good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's peppermint. Never eat anything you find in the wild unless you know for sure, for sure, for sure that it is safe. There are poisonous, dangerous things in the wild you eat, make you sick, and it can even kill you. What? This, it looks like peppermint, it has a purple stem. It does stem, look like peppermint. Like it's right here by the peppermint. See that, agents? It looks but exactly we don't know what this is, but I can tell that is not peppermint. It it's probably a relative. Very similar. A relative. But it doesn't smell like it, and it's not peppermint. Well, and and so, to eat it, and even though it looks very gross. much like peppermint, if you eat it, well, it could make you sick or even kill you. You never know. There are plants around here, if you eat them, they Once will kill Once I you, ate so. it, and I spit it out, and it tasted disgusting. Mm. All right, well, let's collect some peppermint, put it in our pockets here. Let's head back to the fire. Oh, there's a slug on that one. Little baby slug. Oh, it's tiny. <laughs> so, agents, what we're doing here is we are sustainably harvesting this mint. What that means is that we're harvesting it in a way that works with a balance between the mint itself, nature itself, and us harvesting it. If we just ripped up all the whole mint plant, like if I took this and just ripped it up by its roots, well, that wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be sustainable for the plant growing here because it would give the other plants around it an advantage over it. And those other plants would crowd it out and it wouldn't come back and we wouldn't be able to have mint again. So we wanna do it in a sustainable way. So for this mint, that means that we're just picking off the tip top here, just like that, and we're leaving like the main plant alone. 
but there's lots of plants to pick the tips off of and the plant will grow in another spot on the plant itself so that it can seed and that's one of the most important things is the plant needs to be able to go to seed so that it can repopulate the mint patch here, right? We want it to continue to do that. We've had this mint patch for three years now. This is a different we, kind of mint. Every year it seems to do better and better because we're sustainably this harvesting This is a different it. kind of peppermint or a different kind of mint. Is it? Does it smell like mint? That's mint. It's mint. Well, maybe it is a different kind. I've heard that there's like a kind called like chocolate mint and that looks a little bit darker. So does it have a different flavor? A little bit. Mm. Taste it. That's definitely mint. Oh, whoa. Wow, yeah, that's mint. And that's way more powerful than the other mint that we just ate. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, different kinds of mint can grow in unison in the same area. So the word sustainable agents comes from a, a Latin word, a Latin word that is its root, sustenere, and it means to uphold. And that's what we want to do. Um, this is a beautiful, amazing ecosystem here out in the wild, and we want to uphold that ecosystem. And I love and I'm honored to be a part of that. It's so amazing. This mint is really, really good for you. Mm -hmm. And it's also delicious in tea. And so we can eat something that's delicious and good for us and sustain or uphold the system by which it continues itself here. Really, really interesting. Okay, now let's get to the fire and make our tea. All right, Agent X, look out real quick. Is that blue flames or some of the hottest types of flames? Right. With the mint. So we wanna let the water boil because that'll kill the dangerous bacteria in the water. We can't just drink water from the creek there because it can be dangerous, can give us uh, serious digestive problems. And so we're gonna let the water boil, but we don't wanna immediately put the mint leaves in there because the mint leaves have really, really good medicinal properties to them that if you put them in extremely hot boiling water, it'll actually ruin many of those medicinal uh, properties. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we want to put it in water once it's kind of settled down a bit. Is that a cucumber that we got from our zombie garden? Uh huh. You want yep. some? You've done a great job growing those cucumbers. We have a zombie <laughs> apocalypse garden that we have. Um, we're going to eat. Oh man, the smoke is getting my head. No, right here. That we have lots of great food in. Well, and Agent we, Axe. The first time we made our and garden. Agent Hummingbird here have really been doing a good job growing it. Hey, Agent Hummingbird, see the mint we got? Mm -hmm. Would you like a piece? Mm -hmm. Here you go. There's a mint piece. You know that minty flavor that mm -hmm. makes your mouth feel like cool like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah? That is a uh, part of that. It's menthol. Can you say menthol? Menthol. That's yeah, an essential oil. Mm hmm. Yeah, and that's the same thing that. Uh, that you have in like gum sometimes. When you chew gum, minty gum, or minty flavored candies, like peppermint candies, that has extract of these peppermint leaves in it most of the time. So can any of you guess what uh, what pe peppermint can do? Medicinal properties of peppermint? Cleans our system. Yeah, it can help with digestive issues. Also, peppermint oil, the raw peppermint oil, can have uh, antibacterial uh, mm -hmm. properties. Yeah, it, it, uh, peppermint is, oil has been shown to kill stuff like E. coli, which is a dangerous bacteria that can actually be inside of the water. E. coli can be in that creek water. And so one thing we could do, it wouldn't be a guarantee, but if we just couldn't boil the water that we got from the creek there, one thing we could do to help kill some of the bacteria is to crush up those mint leaves really good and put a lot of them in that water and let it soak. And that would help to kill the E. coli in the water. Now that's not a guarantee, right? So don't ever do that unless you're in an extreme survival situation. But if we couldn't boil the water, we were in an emergency, we would crush up lots of those mint leaves and the oils that would get released into the water the raw oils, not cooked, raw, that would actually help to kill bacteria inside of that water. But it's not a guarantee, so the best, bet, we had a bottle of the best bet is to just boil that water. What did you say? One of the second best bets is 
that's even better than just soaking mint in it is um getting a bottle of peppermint oil and shaking a bunch of drops into it and then like mixing it really well and crushing peppermint leaves in yeah that's true too mm -hmm. but when you're in a survival situation you usually don't have a bottle of peppermint oil on you <laughs> Ah, uh, look at that. It's boiling. That is boiling already. That's super hot. All right, Agent X, you grab that end of the stick, okay? Oh yeah, that's done. Yep, let's lay it right over here. Right there. All right, so we're gonna let that sit and cool off. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna put the mint into, see that steam coming out? Oh, yes. Oh. Stir it in there. There we go. Oh, that's going to be so good. Put the lid on. So we're putting a little bit of honey. Just a small smack of okay. That's good. Let me put some in mine. All right, Ribby. Hold your cup open. All right. Let your hand, it's gonna be hot. Put the top in. There we are. Alright, now. We want some mint now. Me. Whoa, steamy I'm hot mint. Steamy. There we go. Is any so, of it hot? Uh, it's kinda hot. So you can also eat the mint. I'm gonna say some. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And stir that honey up or it'll just sit on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Alright agents, let's have a sip of our fresh mint tea. Oh, that hits the spot. It really warms me on the inside. It's pretty cold out here. Wet and rainy. Having a nice warm cup of tea. If we were trying to survive out here, it would just be the thing to keep our spirits up. And that's one of the most important things with survival. Mmm. Can you tell me why there might be mint in it? That we <laughs> Your mouth's full of mint. I can't understand you. There might be mint in the tea, so you need to chew the water. Oh, not just drink it. You gotta chew it too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Faven yesterday got herself a rabbit. She's eating it. She's eating a bone. What? Faven. Oh, she's eating it. She, well, that's good. We hear the crunching of bones. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. All right, everyone. Agent Tracker caught a rabbit. I don't know if Agent X already told you this. And okay. she stashed it somewhere. She hid it somewhere yesterday. And now she's eating it, and that is good. Um, we don't want Agent Tracker just to catch things and not eat them. That's not good for her to just catch and kill things and, and not eat them. But she is eating this rabbit, and we are glad that she's eating it. Now, this is how it works. Agent Tracker, she comes from uh, uh, basically wolves. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what the modern dog came from the wolf. And wolves are predators, and they must eat meat to survive. And predators are an essential part of the ecosystem. You know the ecosystem that we talked about earlier with the mint? If, if nothing ate the mint, then it might just take over, right? There's a balance in nature. And deer, they need predators to keep their well, numbers at bay, to keep that so balance. Stay. In Otherwise areas where- eat all the peppermint. Yeah, in areas where humans killed off all the predators and drove them out here in North America, they have serious problems like in the Northeast with deer. And they have to have hunters come in and actually control the deer population because it's not good when you have too many deer. And what they're, the balance that nature had before humans came in was disrupted. And so, just like that, Agent Tracker, she helps with the balance uh, with rabbits. And there's coyotes around here, but we drove the coyotes uh, away here by moving here. Uh, we drive the, the cougars, they're less likely to be around. And, and uh, the, um, the wolves used to be here, but they're not here anymore. And so animals like rabbits and, and deer that are prey for these, uh, these uh, predators, they kind of take over. And so it is helpful uh, that uh, Agent uh, Tracker here is taking over the balance there 
uh, and um, she taking likes it on. That rabbit meat. And yeah, she loves the rabbit meat. Yeah, and she's eating the rabbit, so we don't have to buy her food. Yeah, that yeah. that's five dollars less. Yeah, $5 that is how nature works, agents. That is how nature has always worked. Mm -hmm. Always. So some of you might think. Oh, that's that's so sad. The the rabbit died. But sea agents, that's how it works. It is. It's how it has worked forever. Ever since life on this planet has existed. Oh, yep. And no, none of this rabbit will go to waste. You can guarantee that there is no waste in nature. Even if Agent Tracker leaves a little bit of it and doesn't eat it all, no, but another creature right. around here is going to eat it. Maybe a kai will come by and eat the rest of it or uh, it's a spider bite. Kind of it's a spider bite. See, you think so? It's starting to get red right there. Well, red. Maybe you should have that checked out. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go show Agent Trinity. Agents, I am so grateful that we have been able to you have. You always got the heart, see? Oh yeah. You yeah. Do the heart has really great nutrition in it for Agent Tracker. In fact, when we get beef, sometimes we'll cut the hearts and give give a little bit to her. I'm so grateful that we have got to have this experience with Agent Axe and Agent Hummingbird over here, and you all, agents. And I am excited to see if the beavers come back and build the dam again. What do you think? You think they will? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe, agents. This is so incredible. All right. Remember, life is an adventure, and love is the key. And we love you, and we are so glad that you joined us on today's adventure. Remember, you get out and have your own adventures. Don't just watch our videos. You can have just as much fun as you see us doing every day if you just use your imaginations. All right. We'll see you on the next adventure. Agent Tech's out. Agent Pika out. Or agent <laughs> Agent Hummingbird out. Agent out. <laughs>